So I did start my do's and don'ts list over there. No, maybe if you have dry skin, you shouldn't. Wait, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. What are you doing? Finishing my list real quick. Oh. Okay, we can go. Because I think the oils are good for you, and you don't want to wash them away, especially if you have dry skin. I want to wash them away. I'll put lotion on. Yeah, put yeah, put lotion on to mix with your natural oils. I don't really care for my natural oils. Really? I've grown to love them as I age. I love them until someone takes a flash photo of me. And then I'm like, why does it look... I feel like you're not, you're, you're not wet usually. Oh, I'm soaked. I don't feel that way about you. I'm constantly... You can like, actually, I'm like shiny. You know those mirrors that are just so close you can see all your pores? You can actually do that if you get close enough to my forehead. I don't know how... You don't have pores. I have pores. Okay. I've I have never pores. Seen them. I have pore. <laughs> I have pore. What do you have? <laughs> pore. I've never seen a, your pore. Come close. <laughs> Do you want to see my poor? Yeah. On, it, IRL? You don't have. Look at me. Like all here. I don't see your poor. I do. Either. I have I have poor. I have poor. Um, so <laughs> I have poor. We all have poor. Um, I think maybe I'm going to start washing my face. I mean, and like, don't fix what's not broken. No, the thing is like, I'm tired of getting new white sheets once every eight months. Brown, completely brown down to my mattress pad, down to the mattress. No, my, my sheets look like in Pompeii. Those, that couple that died yeah, because they got it's hit disgusting. by the, it's my ashes Yeah, in the part where I lay most often. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. I need to get a new mattress. Yeah, it looks like a crime scene. Yeah. Like, oh, this person was like the outline of my space. body, 100%. which is gross. But like, I could also simply. I, I guess we could flip the mattress. People do that. No, no, no. My sheets. I'm talking about how it goes through to my mattress. You, oh, oil queen. Yeah. I'm not on your level yet. Um, I, I just, I go to Costco for my sheets. I get them on Amazon.com, slash sheets. Yeah, forward slash sheets. <laughs> but I guess I could just not get white sheets but i love crisp white sheets i get tan like tan cream which is a little helpful yeah i'm sure you know what ins and outs for 2024 20, should we not sh washing your face no 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 should we bring back like colored sheets so i feel like most often people do do white i would go i would say neutral so don't be scared to do gray tan i think the big I, I like like Earthy too, like green, yeah. dark green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, do do what you want. I think earth tone sheets are in for twenty twenty four. Okay, natural tone white, sheets. White sheets are out. I don't want to say they're out because I just got a new set. Okay, maybe in eight months we'll circle back. Okay, but I like my white sheets. I always get confused if high thread count or low thread count is better. Anybody know? High thread count is better. High thread count is better for what reason? Just feels better. Okay. But low might be good for like sweaty. That's what I was thinking. But I don't know. I keep getting ads for this, um, this like mattress thing cover that you put over that like you can adjust the temperature of your mattress. Mama and pop up have that because mama sweats and pop up is freezing. So they go half and half. That's what Bill and I do. It changed my life. Okay. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to get it. $3,000. Yeah. No, I'm not going to get it, I guess. Which side are you, Ryan? I sweat, so I make it negative. Negative 10 degrees? No, it's negative 10 to plus 10, just on the scale. So Jill's is like plus 6 on that negative. Mm. Oh my God, is she freezing? She's really cold. Wow. I'm really hot. Yeah, I would need it on the negative 10. Oh, I have to have it on the negative 10. Yeah. Ooh, uh, I want to put so I want to be able to sleep in socks one day. Yeah. I slept in socks over the weekend because I was in abroad in, in oh, Colorado. Oh, you were abroad. Oh yeah, Happy New Year. Happy New, <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome oh, back. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh. Just right into sheets. Right, right into face oils and, face and body oil. oils. It wouldn't be us if we didn't do that. No. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome back to BNCMAP. First episode I of 2024. Yep. And we haven't been in this studio in like, what, a month? Literally a month? Oh, I was making that up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm I sick. I feel like two weeks, three weeks. 
Maybe a month. It was a month, I think. That's I'm gonna crazy. I'm going to go out on a limb and say a month. That's wild. And now I'm like, like, what do I do? How do we get from point A yeah, to point B? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, what it's, you know what's in for 2024? Let, letting go and letting God. Yeah. No, actually, Jesus taking the wheel, even just as a blanket statement. Not to go right into religion in the first 10 seconds after face oils. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, I think we were going, Frankie was away at the guinea pig um, spa for three weeks. Wait, I'm so confused. Three weeks. I didn't know that Frankie was away. Oh, God. She was. Frankie was studying was abroad? She was studying abroad. She was an hour away at the guinea pig farm. That's abroad she for She got Frankie. a bubble bath. If you think of how many steps like a guinea pig has to take to go an hour away, that is me swimming yeah. to Italy. Yeah, that is so true. She was in Topanga. <laughs> oh, yeah. With so many other guinea pigs. She was halfway pigs. across the globe. With so many other guinea pigs. And when I went to get her yesterday, they brought her out because she was back, like deep into the farmland. They brought her out on a golf cart. <laughs> And it's just like watching her come. She was sitting in the passenger seat, just like sitting there. And it, Whoa. it was so cute. Wait, Frankie is living the <laughs> high life. Holy crap. It was so precious. And they like, those people at the guinea pig farm devote their lives yeah. to two guinea pigs. Like it was it, unreal to see. That's so awesome. So and what's cool is that all the other guinea pigs came running right up to me. Like they wanted to be pet. They were weaking. Frankie immobile stoic <laughs> didn't didn't flinch when that, she that's saw our me frank. yeah that's Did you see weaking? weak they weak so that's it not a, it's like yeah i feel like we were close it's so cute that frankie is cute. has like frankie's a little nonverbal, but she weeks very quietly yeah she does weak though oh i think we all weak she's so cute in her own way but yeah she's back home she had a blast I do not think she knows who I am. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but yeah, she hasn't come out from under her snack cart. Um, I got a Rover for the first time ever because I, I'll i get to that part. Yeah. But I was just like, you know what? I want like on Rover. I've never used it. You can actually have like someone come stay at your house. Oh, yeah. And it was like super affordable. It was actually the cheapest option. Because, someone stayed in your new palace? Yeah, in my new pad. Wow. Yeah. In your bed? So... When she came over for like a visit before, yeah, she was like, "Is this a one bedroom?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, I don't stay at one bedroom." And I was like, "Salute!" So she spent the whole day there, and then would just like leave at night every day. Why she just doesn't stay at one bedrooms because she doesn't want to sleep she, in your she, bed? She'd rather stay in like a guest room. Yeah, um, which is understandable. But I was just like, "Okay, nice. Now I don't have to like wash my sheets for you." Yeah, queen. Um, but she had like glowing reviews. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to like trust a professional to yeah. stay in my home, send, send me updates every hour. I, I'm going to use Rover every single time now. It was awesome. Do you think that they rove for guinea pigs? Yeah, they do. I saw it on there. They do. Oh my Rabbits, God. Rabbits, guinea pigs. And there were so many options too. It was like, you, do you want like an in-house, do you want like a house sitter option or like check-in option where like, you're like, Frankie would probably be fine to be She'd checked be fine, in she on. She would be fine to check in. Max doesn't like being alone. Wow. That's great. And it was like a new space because we just moved in there. So, like, he really probably wouldn't want to be alone. And then also, like, my landlord did us a favor by, like, because it was, like, no dogs. So, and I was like, he doesn't bark. But I'm like, I've also never left him alone for three hours. Right. So, but it'd be, it was so funny. She was sending me updates. Like, How did you get past the no dog legislation? I said, please. <laughs> like, he's so polite. And she's like, I'll make an exception this one time. Okay. But I brought him, I brought him up. After like chatting with her and her touring for two hours with me, and then at the end I was like, "And you knew so there got was this no dog." dog. Yeah, I, it was like in all caps because they have had a bad experience with dogs in the uh -huh. past, like barking. Because there's an upstairs neighbor and like a back house neighbor. Oh no! Yeah, and so I was like, "He's so polite, and he's small." And she, he came in and jumped on her chest and uh -huh. almost knocked her over. He's and not small like, by any fine. means. She's like, "Oh my god, he's so big." And I was like, well, relatively speaking, he's in terms of like a Great Dane, he's so tiny. Right. Um, so she made the exception. That's crazy. And then the rover kept texting me things like, um, so I know, I know like this biting thing that he does is like out of love, but he's like gnawing on my arm. Yeah, he loves the like, arm. Oh, cute. <laughs> I didn't know she wanted me. Like, what am I going to do? Right. I'm sending abroad. Right. Come home and certainly talk to it like yeah. i was like honestly this is on this is like your thing now yeah on account of me already paying you 
Right. That is an interesting. So. Like note home. Right. But she took him to the park every day and was like sending me updates. And she had a dog. So anytime oh, she wasn't good. able to like be physically there, she would just like leave her dog with Max and they were buddies. Um, so that was awesome. I didn't get one update on Frankie. They don't do that, which is scary because I don't think they know how to work a phone or computer. Oh, well, you just have to like let go and let God. It was, Frank. yeah, it was scary, but she was, she was all good. That's so great. Got her nails clipped. Oh, yeah. oh, they like fully. She had well. a doctor's visit. She's Maybe I'll take health. Max there next time. She's in great health. She is in great health. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. No notes None, on her health. No notes. Oh, um, that's yeah. so nice. Yeah. It is so nice also just to be like, my pet is in good care while I'm gone. I yeah. can just like be fully present. Yeah. I wasn't fully present. You weren't? No, because I was just like, I haven't heard from her in like three hours. Oh. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Green Chef slash Every Plate is now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands, and now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with us. Whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like, delivered right to your door. It's that time of year again. Always where we, we set the resolutions. We're, we, we talk about resolutions all the time. And I'm trying to spend less money on eating out, more time in my kitchen. And with HelloFresh, they make it so easy to stick to those goals. Last night, I made the smashed black bean tostadas. Yum. And it was a smash hit. I have some left over, actually, right Aww. now. Um, and it was easy. And, it you know, not a huge mess. Love that. Me too. Each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep for less hassle and less wasted food. Don't let recipe boredom strike because HelloFresh has more options than ever before. Dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options to choose from weekly and even more market add-on items that suit any lifestyle. Make saving time your breeziest resolution with a quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you. Just choose your meals and select your delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and shopping, so all you have to do is open your weekly box of pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes to get cooking. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BNC free and use code BNC free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash BNC free with code BNC free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Would you rather not hear from her at all? Like the Frankie style? Hard to say. You know, because the updates come in a lot and then they just like stop and it's like, maybe she's like addressing an emergency situation. Uh -huh. And then I was thinking like, what if she died? Right. Max could survive. How long were you gone? Five days. No, I think he would be dead as a doorknob. But he would find he would find the food in the home. I think he would bark, and then my landlord would text and be like, "He's barking," which she did several times. Oh, she did. Oh, she was able to. Every time he barked once, was like, "He's barking." By the way, and like the rover would be there and be like, "I'm sitting here. He barked one time." Oh my god, yeah. that could be kind of annoying as you continue to live there throughout as we move forward with living there for a, my year at least no she's nice though she was like i was like i'll take care of it and she's like thank you so much oh my gosh oh, you guys so God, i've got two sinks in my bathroom <laughs> you're gonna shit your pants you have two sinks I have, I have a his and hers bathroom um which is great because it's just me so i can i can decide if i'm his or her day to day <laughs> and i'm like Okay, so I go in there one day, right before I left, and I'm using the left sink. I'm more of like a right sink type of person. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that would make me hers. If you, if, or if you're leading, if you're reading left to right, it would be his and hers. Okay. So I'm using the left sink for like one of one of, one of my first times, and as I'm using the left sink, I hear something in the right sink drain, and then all of a sudden I see something in the right uh -uh, sink drain. No. From the depths of hell. No. Black goop. Um, a black, like, almost living substance started coming up. Oh, I thought you were going to say a roach. No, no, no. No no bugs so far in this facility. 
Um, but just it just starts overflowing with black garbage, just like not actual garbage, but just I don't even sewage. know what it was. It wasn't sewage. It stunk. So sewage. It. Well, I don't know what. Okay. Let's call a spade a spade. It was sewage, probably, but it was horrible. It was literally. How much did it fill up the sink? Like it just started happening. I go nope, and I walk out <laughs> and I shut the door and I text my mom. I go don't know what to say. You gotta get a, oh you gotta get your ass over here and check this out. Does she live on the property? Yeah, and so she comes over expeditiously. You know, it's like you. I want to believe that she didn't know this was happening, but like she made it over very quickly, and. I had sm already smelled it, <laughs> but she goes in and uses the wash or a paper towel and wipes it and puts it no. so close to her face to smell it and goes, uh. <laughs> and I was like, why would, did you do that? <laughs> and she was like, it smells so bad. And I was like, that's why I called you over here. Ew. Um, so she was able to put her body on the line for this sludge. Um, Is that movie called about like the living goo sludge? That, I think that's the word I was trying to conjure. Sludge. Was it called sludge? No. It, yeah, it's Robin was Williams. Like a, Flubber. Fr Flubber was like a friendly ghost, though. This is an evil so. entity that like... Was I think like, Flubber's evil. This was like Last of Us vibes. Like, it was like evil. traveling out of the, the vestibule and like at me. Like it wanted to take on human form and, and attack me. And she... I literally walked in the bathroom and like I saw where she had wiped and she was like... Like I can't even get the her her gag done. Um, so that hasn't been fixed yet. So I had to tell the rover, do not use the left sink. Oof. Do not use his sink. Um, the funniest thing ever was the last time she came over because I haven't had electricity in my bedroom or that bathroom since I moved in. And she was like, "Well, it's important that we do a walkthrough." And I was like, "So walkthroughs happen before I sign the lease. So why are we doing this now?" Like. You know, the, the electricity's been out. I'm a good sport. Um, but I'm also not going to pay rent until everything's fixed, you know, because I'm going to put my foot down this year. Good. But um, she comes in and she's chatting with me and she's from me to you. And she has a bug. No. On her throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's like... Not even stationary. It's not like it landed on her and like was comfortable. It was like like walking around on her neck and like I was like I need <laughs> I need to tell this woman about this bug, but like I also didn't want to embarrass her by being like you got a bug on your jug, on your and, jugular. Yeah. So I was like just keeping my mouth shut, thinking like because the bug had wings and I was like maybe it'll fly away as she's like talking, walking around and it would hang out over here for a little bit. And then it would move across her jug and like hang out on this side. And I was like, damn, she had this bug on her neck almost as if it was her own. How do you not feel that? Because I even feel bugs when they're bug. not on me. How do you not feel a bug running a half marathon yeah, on your neck? I don't know. It was crazy. And it was just kind of like sauntering around this area. And I was just like this. She's like, we'll have to start in the kitchen and we'll work on these lights and we'll move our way into the bathroom. And this bug is just like, yada, 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 yada. Like, it was like she was, she was the bug's mommy. Mm -hmm. And she said, stay close. I used to like really l like bugs when I was little. Oh. Like play with them and talk to them and I would get so upset if I stepped on one and stuff like that and so on. Here's the thing is like, I don't have a problem with bugs. I feel like every time we talk negatively about any of God's creatures, the bug police come out. I'm not like, like obsessed with them now. No. It's, At all. It changes when you have a space of your own and then this bug is like in your home and it's like, I don't feel safe yeah. anymore here. Now, like in college, we had a like spider. paying for a one bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't like invite guests over. Right. And every time like I have a spider in my house now, people are like, it's like protecting you from other bugs. I'm like, that's not how I see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People love to defend spiders the most. Where it's like, okay, they could be poisonous. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care that they're not poisonous. They could lay eggs in my ear. And like Don't that, say that. Anything that is in my in my vicinity that can lay eggs in my ear needs to go. I I'm saw sorry. a TikTok about that and haven't quite stopped thinking about it since. Because yeah. like you I guess you just need to wear earplugs when you go to bed. I know, but I otherwise need, like you're completely vulnerable. I need to wear 
all my orifices. I need to wear earplugs. I need to wear nose plugs. I need to wear a butt plug. I don't want it coming into my body, you know? What do you think about mouth tape? Uh, I just had a friend this weekend that was like, I wear mouth tape and uh, an eye mask every night when I go to sleep now, and I've never slept better. I think I'd suffocate with mouth tape. I'm like, tape. that is just like self-kidnapping. Like, yeah. you should duct tape your hands together, too. Yeah. If anything happened, like, oh, you wouldn't even yeah. know. Good point. You're blindfolded and your mouth is taped shut. Like, you're, you've done half the job. I guess job. it's like a really thin, flimsy piece of yeah. tape. But still, I would suffocate. I can't breathe in my apartment due to the dust. T yeah, well, tell me you're not claustrophobic without telling me you're not claustrophobic. That, Like, to me, those two things. I'm just like, what if an emergency happened? Also, eye masks give me a headache. Yeah. They, it feels like they're, like, tight It's tight around my head. Did you see my weighted eye mask that yeah, I got? Yeah, that... I know. I love. You mean that's the one that used to be in your car for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I love that one. I know. I haven't done like a car resting session in a while. I should do that. Why? <sighs> Been busy. Why do I guess. car rest when you have bed rest? I my car is my is a safe space for me for some reason. Like I enjoy like being in it and sitting in it and eating meals in it. And I think a lot of people would be like, "That's really sad." This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Everyone's always talking about New Year, New Me, but this year I'm focusing on the things that I want to keep the same, like going on daily walks every single morning. Around New Year's, we, we I have to go on I have walks. actually been doing that. I have to go because I'm ex, and it's been oh, really good. Yeah. Sticking to it. Around New Year's, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just expanding on what we already are doing right. Damn. Maybe you finally organized that part of your space that was disorganized, and, and you'll want to tackle another. Or maybe you're taking your supplements every morning and now you want to actually eat breakfast too. Yeah. Therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. Therapy has given me the tools to navigate life's challenges, fostering resilience and a healthier mindset. It's a judgment-free space where I've learned to prioritize self-care, set boundaries, and build lasting positive changes. It's an investment in yourself that pays dividends in personal well-being and a more fulfilling life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Celebrate the progress you've made, period. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BNC today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash BNC. Go home and eat your meal at home. I'm like, I kind of like going and picking up food mm -hmm. or like a rotisserie chicken. And just kind of going ham. Well, it's nice because you're like outdoors without being outdoors and you have like music. And then you can just And you out. can be alone, but out. Because I love alone, being alone together. Yeah. It's a good I, name for a band. Alone together. That's a show actually. Is it? And it's a good show. I watched, Is it? I just watched it. I think it's with Esther. No, it's I not. I saying Popovich. Um, yeah, alone together. Can we type in alone together? It's a good show. Oh, that sucks for me, thinking I came up with oh, that. Oh, it's a movie. Oh. Perry. Holmes. Katie Holmes. Okay, well, I guess I didn't Wait, is it also up. a TV show? Can we just double check? TV show? Yeah, Esther Pavitsky. Wait, did I say it right? Yeah. Wow, good job, Connor. Thanks. It's good. It's it's funny. I think, like, if it's from 2018. Watch the first season. That's Okay. I was watching that. Um, also, I started rewatching Drunk History. That's one of the best shows. That is so my show. That is a you show. Have you watched it? I've seen a few episodes when like people I'm addicted to are on it, but I haven't like consistently. Every it's not really my every episode. I hate it, history. No, they make it so even if it's drunk. They make it so funny though. Like, and I actually like learned so much the other day about like. This, this was not actually from Drunk History, but my friend was drunk and telling me this story the other day. So in a way. So in a way, it was Drunk History, but he's, he's really smart and was telling me about, I was like, tell me about the Boston Tea Party, because they were like, he, he knows something about everything. And I was like, Boston Tea Party, one of my favorite, you know, soirees in history. And he's like, well, the funny thing about the Boston Tea Party is the Boston Tea Party obviously sparks the American Revolution, sure. right? This is basically me reciting Drunk History right now, because I feel drunk all the time. And so... It sparked the American Revolution, but that happened because whoever had put taxation on teas and stuff. Right. They were protesting that. Yeah. That man was put in place in 
in place of the old ruler that all the Americans in, in the colonies loved. And he, got, he had gotten sick from gout. Isn't that a foot thing? Yeah, it's when the blood crystallizes in your feet and from, from like drinking too much red wine and eating too much red meat. So it's kind of like a gluttonous disease, but it's a sign. It was like a sign of success. Oh, I think it runs in my family. It's it's like, yeah, it's it's like uh, at that point, it was like because you were really successful, you could afford a lot of port. Is it related to high cholesterol? I would say so. I would say so I don't know. Too. I'm just guessing. But um, oh, great. I'm going to get gout. It's OK. Hunter Bell's had gout as well. Is like he a lot okay? of people, yeah, I think it goes away. It must go away. I but anyways, chronic. Chronic. I'm sure you could have chronic gout. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I'm not, gout is just a piece of the puzzle here. But <laughs> so this ruler had gotten gout and was out for the count because of this gout. And because of his love for port wine, which is wine from Portugal, and which is great wine. But because he was out, he was replaced by who was who was he replaced by? Like Alexander or something? Not the great, I don't know. Who put in place the tax on tea. And because of that, they revolted and threw all the tea in the river, which actually sparked the American Revolution overseas. So that was caused. The American, we can thank the current United States we have on port wine. Red wine. Thank you for sharing. So interesting. I love looking back. Because like obviously I know Boston Tea Party sparked the American Revolution. Right. But like what caused the... It's the butterfly yeah. effect. I've always, yeah. I've always loved the butterfly yeah, effect. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a, a drunk history on the Boston Tea Party? I bet there is. There is. And it was pretty much what I said. But funnier. It was so funny because I watched the one the other day. This one was interesting. Are they drunk when they do it? The people speaking are drunk and they are drunk. Like literally will like stop to throw up. Really? Yeah. And like fall asleep on the ground and uh, the guy that produces the show will like sit on the ground with them and like feed them a bagel bagel while they like finish the story but i watched one yesterday with like um about about the writing of the story frankenstein and how it all came to and that one was really good and will like the mary shelley frankenstein? yeah yeah mary shelley Order. and okay. and um will ferrell was frankenstein for that episode like it was so funny i just love like cameos yeah. So that's what I'm, been... I'm a big fan of cameos too. Is it even considered a cameo if there's no like regular cast? Yeah. Is I there a regular cast? The guy that produces it is on every episode. Okay. Yeah. But that's what I've been watching because there's six seasons. Cool. And they're like bite size. So it's like a good like, okay, I'm going to turn on TV while I eat lunch. And I'm going to watch two of these like bite sized shows. I love it, Connor. Yeah. You know, there's also takeaways. I love a good takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing like a good takeaway. You okay? I'm so freaking congested. This is one of those times where I'm mi really missing having a, having free my nostrils. Oh, yeah. So if everyone wouldn't mind taking a minute to appreciate having free nostrils. <sighs> and, and Mine are kind of free except for my dust. Yeah. Maybe, maybe th this is the year. I got a duster yesterday. I dusted everything. But I feel like I just put it into the air. I know. Maybe, maybe this is the year you invest in And then I in wiped with Mr. Clean. Love him. You know, he's a gay icon. No, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what he is? A bald head. Going up, bald yeah. head. We he should use bald that. Head. We should we should use that endearingly. Go on up, bald head. Reclaim it. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe this is the year you get an air purifier. I did get an air purifier. It didn't it doesn't do anything. I think you need one. I think I need like a good one. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to it's like two. I'd rather just sleep with us. I won't be able to figure out how to work it. It's stressing me out just thinking about it. Are you still working on moving? Mm -hmm. So like haven't really I made haven't any looked steps yet, that but it's way. only the third. I don't know what day. I, ha I said I'm moving by summer. That's my resolution. Oh, cool. That's doable. Yeah. So I haven't looked yet, but I am gonna goal goals for my new place. No dust. That's not gonna happen. So no like, dust. Don't set yourself up for failure. In unit washer dryer. Oh. Do you have that? Mm -mm. How far away is it? What? Your oh, dryer. fifteen feet. But it's outside. Oh, do you have to pay for it? That sucks. Me too. That I, I want to circle back to the in unit washer dryer okay. when you're done. That perk would be an ice machine on the fridge. Damn, you're really That's a perk. Yeah. Another perk, pool. Jesus. Well, I have a pool now. So you so, want to live in a complex? No, I don't. I want my you own. You want pool. a house with a pool. <laughs> nice. Yeah. For, we're on, we're for on a, a low fee. We're on House Hunters International. Do you a want a view fee. of the ocean as well? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but it's a park. You better. 
But you know, some of those, like, I want, like, that a... That was a Tosh.0. Like, a goes, duplex. You better learn Spanish. Hello? Hello? I want, like, a duplex kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, those Spanish style yeah, ones. Yeah, that's... I, and think sometimes, I think you should move to Mexico. And sometimes they have, Way like, pools for, like, the four, like, duplexes around. So maybe that could be great. Um, what's the other thing I want? AC. Walk-in closet? Well, yeah, that would be good. A nice bathroom with a lot of like storage. I don't have any bathroom storage. Yeah, that that could be fine. I actually oh don't gosh. want that after your her sink. It's no. Great. Oh my gosh, that sludge. <laughs> yeah, I'm like anti sludge. Oh my gosh. Speaking of sludge, guys, we have to tell you about our new merch coming out. We are so freaking excited for it. It we is We are doing sludge merch. We're doing sludge. You're each getting look under your seats. You're each getting <laughs> A little Ziploc baggie full of sludge for my apartment. Oh, that is like really actually disgusting. <laughs> if you have an enemy, you can leave it on their front door and set it on fire. Of course. But Who's my first caller today? Oops. Who? Oh, I, got one. I gotta call him back. Okay. Actually. Not right now. But anyway, merch. Um, merch. So thank you all for your loving words about the rebrand. We are super excited and we love our teddy bears. Um, and we will be coming out with not only teddy bear like merch, wearables. merch, but also like huggable teddy bear like stuffy that you can like not only cuddle with, but also bring to your job or the bank or going out to lunch or dinner or everywhere you go because that's normal to do. They're plushies. They're physical, real mm -hmm. dolls. Dolls. They're plushies. Like a stuffed animal. Yeah. Yeah. We're really excited about I'm, them. We I'm, got to see previews. That's what I'm most excited about personally. We saw previews of everything last week and it is. You're, you're, it's you're, you're gonna You're going to die. I'm real excited. Um, but let's talk about like our New Year's experiences because mm -hmm. we were gone, gone for a long time. I'll start. I don't mind. Take it um, away. Okay. So immediately upon leaving Los Angeles, I went to Vegas. Yeah. Um, I had no idea I'm, I'm like addicted to blackjack <laughs> in a way that isn't good. Oh, you have a gambling addiction? 100%. Whoa. I did not think I, I had an addictive personality. I thought I knew I oh, had you No, I knew do. I had an obsessive personality. But I always thought like, oh, I could always like stop something. Yeah. If I wanted to. Turns out, mm -mm. can't. Mm -mm. I lost so much money. Oh no. I was up. First of all, I do the blackjack machines. You know the woman? You familiar with that one woman on the machines? No. Such a bitch. Is, oh. Yeah. Such a bitch. Um, is she um, in a little vest? No, she's like in a like nice dress. Oh, her. She's like hot. Yeah. But I know. don't trust her. Okay. Don't trust her. Because just when you're up, Connor, that's when she'll take you down. That's why I don't know about the machines. Like you don't think that the machines are maybe I a know. little bit rigged? I don't. Some people think they are. Some people are like, no, they're fully legit. I don't know, because like I do win money for sure. It's just that I can't Not stop. Yeah. No, I can't. Oh. It's never enough, so I can't stop. So I didn't pay for the trip at all because it was my friend Patrick got like a brand deal and took me and my friend Alexa. And so I didn't pay. So I was like, because I didn't pay, I will take out the money that I would have paid to gamble. So Love I that. took out $500. Whew. I won like 300 then kept kept going until I had nothing left. Even when I said it's a perfect time to walk away, could not if my life depended on it. Yeah, I uh, I couldn't I couldn't press that cash out button. Truly, if my life depended on it, I can't gamble at all. So and I woke up in the you. early in the morning at seven a.m. while everyone was asleep. After we had went to bed at like four, went downstairs to the casino. Oh, no wow. one was there. Oh wow, bro! This yeah. wasn't on my bingo card. And at I was all. in my pajamas too. Yeah, well, yeah. you can. It's kind of a free for all. Yeah. Wow. So lost all my money, and then went to Florida. Went back to the casino in Florida. Oh my mm -hmm. heavens! Lost my money there too. Heavens well, to Betsy, bro. To, was up, then lost it all. I don't like that. That pains me. Mm -hmm. It is like t it's. That's what sucks, because like losing money sucks. So you're like, I the only way to feel better is to win it back, and then you just lose more. I have to say. And I mean this like with all love in my heart. I could see you being like one of those people in those like 100%. carts that like never actually stand up and they just roll like 
like machine to machine in their scooter. Yeah. And just smack that button. Oh, on God. But I don't know how to do anything else. I don't want to ever learn oh. how to do anything else besides the blackjack. Machine. Well, blackjack is like a cornerstone of blackjack Vegas. is good. Cause like there is like, you feel like you've some control. Yeah. There's strategy involved. Whereas the slots, it's just like, I don't know. Whatever happened. Like, oh, like, 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 oh, like, God. Yeah. Oof. Wow, bro. I actually, though, I will say in Vegas, I did not know that Blackjack had strategy. Oh. Until Pop Up in Florida let me know. Okay. And so we did a lot of practice rounds. And then I went back to the casino in Florida where I was really much better, but then lost it all. Right. Growth is growth, mm -hmm. no matter how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to play backgammon? Yeah. I learned how to play that in Florida. So fun. Fun little I got, game. I got myself a board. Wow. You want to play with me? Yeah, I do. Okay. I love backgammon too as a as a piece in your home. You can actually leave the backgammon. I have the piece. You can leave it open yeah. and out, which is a great thing. Open like, it out and bust it through. The worst part about board games, putting them away. I'd rather just set yeah. them on fire at the end. True. Monopoly Very, same board with puzzles. Game? I'll leave a puzzle out for over a year. Look what I did. Look at what I did. You should get them framed. You, well, then you can't ever do them again. Once I do a puzzle, it's like, this is the same bitch. That's true. Once I start putting it again, I've already seen her. That's true. Um, anyways, um, go ahead. Keep going. So Vegas and then... Vegas was fun. Then I went to Florida where it rained for... I think I was there for 14 days. It rained for 14 days. Um, kind of nice though because we don't get any rain here. I would have taken rain. It was kind of... I mean, you know, like I belong in the hot tub. Yeah. So... I did go in the hot tub in the rain, but it's hard because I can't bring my book out there because it'll get wet. Umbrella, bro. Also, people are always like, how do you not get your book wet in the hot tub? I don't put it underwater. <laughs> that's that's how I do that. Yeah. Um, but there were a few moments of like, it was always cloudy, like there was no sun, but I was, you know, I got my hot tub reading done. Did not read as much as last time due to the weather. The rain. Did not lose any toenails. Um, good. I did. And I'm not going to talk about it that much because I've been talking about it nonstop on TikTok and Instagram and everywhere and I can't stop. I did get a new personality while book I was away. Fluencer. Well, yeah, I am a book fluencer, but oh, specifically, oh, right, right, right. specifically speaking, I need to issue an, um, an apology for my negative talk about the Court of Thorns and Roses series, specifically book one. I have never been more wrong in my life I read the second book due to everyone making me. <coughs> Connor changed my life in ways that I. Wow. I'm I'm not the same person that you knew in December. Would you would completely you completely shifted on its axis? So much so that would you like encourage me to finish the first book? No, the because second? I, you won't. It's like <laughs> I feel like it's more so like the romance that gets you yeah. so in love with the books, and I don't feel like that would motivate you. Never it, know. You never know, but. Give it a try because now looking back, the first book, best thing I've ever read. I did give it. Back. I was reading it through the wrong lens. That's the thing. But I can't really, I can't what talk lens? to you. What lens? I can't, I did end up spoiling the whole book. The last time when I said this isn't really a spoiler, but continue to spoil the whole book. Oh. So you're reading it. You're just, you've got to read it through a different lens. Gotcha. I can't say because it's kind of like a spoiler. I am now I'm on book three. I brought it with me because I've been reading it at the red lights. I like it while you're in your car driving. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. It's interesting that you can't text and drive, but you can read a full book if you feel up to it. Yeah. They're not going to. No. Yeah. It's fine. Here's what I'll say. My college roommate was reading these books. Sure. When they came out. So like 2016 or 2017. And she was like, Brooke, you have to read these books. And I was like, no, I could never. Cause she was like addicted to this man with wings. And I was like, I could never be addicted to a man with wings shame on me for being so close-minded oh. i my ins and outs for the year in men with wings out men without wings mm. complete sorry connor this is i'm feeling more consumed than i was with twilight twilight's got nothing on this wow that's yeah. a big claim here's what i'll say about the first book the first book is kind of like reading new moon first before twilight so it's kind of like you read the one I can't say much more than okay. that, actually. That's but the girls that the girls that get it, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah. We can leave so, it there, too. Anyway, huge apology on my end. If you have were in the same position as me and had just read the first book and don't want to go on, go ahead. Move on for me now. Because your life is about to Take her completely hand. flip on its axis. I, I am 
until I finish these books, I'll be so annoying. And even went after I finished them for years to come. You can restart from the beginning. I probably will. That's a good point. This I think there's there are some more coming the out. book that like they're gonna make a movie. They're gonna about? make a Hulu. Hulu has it. Oh I wow! I would they would make a movie instead though. If it's miscast, that would be the end of me. Oof. Yeah. Izzy, I'm getting them for you. Okay. Yeah. You you please everyone. I'm begging you all. I'm begging you all. Like I'm sick. I'm completely sickly consumed enamored <sighs> enamored i do feel it is getting in the way of the way i live i do feel that way because mm -hmm. i feel like every second i'm not reading them waste of time like i love being here i love doing the podcast like it's i'm so lucky but your mind is elsewhere i can't be here right now oh, yikes. yeah i that's it i'll stop but i'll stop i'm addicted i'll stop like I'm sick. I'm com I've never. I have not been this way since middle school. I have not really. <laughs> it's it's like I haven't felt this way about a fictional character where there's no like body, like tangible body to the yeah. space yet. In since Twilight, are you picturing what they look like? A little, that's but gonna not, be tough. I'm not very. That's a good question. <clears throat> I don't really do that. Like other people, for sure, like have like a person in their head, usually cast an actor. I'm not good at that because I don't see images when I close my eyes. It's like all just words and thought. But I am close with the with the main. Character. I haven't read a fictional book in so long, but I definitely was one of the people that would would cast yeah. the book in my head. Uh, like if there's already a movie, those actors will be in my head. But this is hard because they're not human because they're so elevated. Well, they're men with wings. At the there end of the is day. no there is no man that could play. You know who? Well, because no, nobody Cause has no a wing in sight. There's no man with a wing. Mortal. I hate being mortal. I hate being mortal. That's hard, like, it's bro. It's so disgusting. I know. It's... I'm not... I've never been convinced that... Like, I do feel... And I felt this way since Harry Potter. Like, I'm waiting for my letter. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, that's tough. Yeah. I do think that there's something. There's an other realms. Because when you think about it, even this realm, the human realm, the mortal realm, like, that's weird. Oh, I know. Like, it is kind of magical. I've almost died so many times. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that some other, every other realm I'm dead, except mm -hmm. this one. Like, I think this is my only living realm. I felt that way, too. I've always felt, I told you about my almost car accident. You've gotten in so many of those. I know. There was one really bad one where I was like, I would have been Perished. dead. Um, and then, like, a week Perhaps later, a, a week wing later wing is when me. I, like... <laughs> blew up on tiktok oh so i was like oh i think i did die and then i am i was actually launched into a different universe and this is me on tiktok is the different universe i was launched like into. you flew through your windshield i flew through the windshield realm. into yeah through the portal wow yeah we also had another person that messaged me and said they got in a car wreck listening to bnc it does suck they're fine though they dm'd me yeah maybe you i don't know because i just i don't want you to read the books because i don't think you'll like them and yeah. it's like i don't want that energy I feel horrible that I was able to provide that energy for other people. Best books in Sarah J. Mass. This woman, I bow to her. She'll and hear I, this. I'm, I'm sure I, she'll think about me. I bow to no one. I'm sure. <laughs> Except well, Sarah J. Mass. I've, I've heard you bow several <laughs> times. I wouldn't say it to no one. <clears throat> I I'm reading Steve Martin's book right now. Such a king. Are there wings? Um, I think he has wings. I just can't see them. I love him. I love him. You know Every what the I best read... Steve Martin movie is? I guess this is, I don't really consider this a Steve Martin movie, but just like the best movie that Steve Martin has to be in, mm. happens to be in. It's complicated. I didn't even know he's in that. Yeah. I think his best by far is Chief by the Dozen. That it, yeah, I agree. But what? the best what is movie it? is, it's complicated. What? Oh, wait, were you agreeing or no? Uh, oh, Planes, okay. Trains, and Automobiles is, is a classic. Can you look at my pit stains in the Oh, picture? I can see them every time you stretch. <laughs> I never get pit stains. Um, Your shirt, like, I like it, but... I think February is my least favorite month. Can I ask what that has to do with the shirt? It's like hearts and pink. Oh, okay. This is my new favorite shirt, but some so there's something wrong with the manufacturing. That's not my. That's not. <laughs> that's not my fault. <laughs> this is a manufacturing error. I think that I think it's just thre low thread count. Yeah, it's low thread count. Yeah, that's not my. Have I been lifting my arms the whole episode? Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> 
I've also got a yay! full. Ja- I've got- <laughs> <laughs> yay! 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 <laughs> I've got a full jacket on. I'm drenched under that. Why didn't you tell me? What am I going to say? You have horrible pit stains. <laughs> it's fu- everybody has pit stains. I know. I just don't usually get them. Um, I feel like... I think it's my wet deodorant. Because I got that oh. wet Old Spice. Like the- Well, I'll never switch from the wet Old Spice. Yeah, I'm doing wet Old Spice. Yeah. Like the clear. So yeah. that's what it is. I don't sweat. So No, it's me neither. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I went to... I just went... I stayed here for Christmas and then went to Colorado for New Oh Year's. yeah, how was your break? <laughs> it was good. It was pretty mellow, like relatively mellow. Um I was just gonna say I checked a bag for the first time in my life because Away was gracious enough to send me like a giant check bag. Oh, like, that's nice of them. I'll never be able to do this again. You know, like I'll never but jackets and ski stuff, like I'll do it. Yeah. And then I get to the airport and like, yeah, I've been working out. So my bag was 48. Fine. I was like, this is 30 pounds. What is it, 50? 72. It, it, it was 72 pounds. No idea what I packed. It was one of those trips where like I blacked out while packing. And then I was like, I'm here for four days. Like, why did I? But I brought like six jackets. I'm like, whatever. I get to the airport. I didn't know that you could just simply pay for overweight baggage. Mm-hmm. I'm unzipped. I'm running a thrift store in Terminal 7. This, sir, I'm I'm not gonna just let this go to anyone. This would fit you really well. Wrangler denim. You're jacket. kidding? No. And I, like a lot of this stuff, I was like, I've never worn this in LA because I, it's not cold enough. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I would go home. I was like, I'm gonna. This is gonna come back full circle to me. Made well jeans, sir. You look like a 31 waist. I am right. Here you go. Oh my God, Santa. It was actually like so fun. And it, there was such a commute, like, like a sense of community in Terminal 7 bag check area when like I'm just like hawking my clothes at people. I got it down to 53 pounds and then I had to wear a jacket over my jacket and carry my ski helmet on board. Yeah, everyone imagine. was like super nice and stoked. Um, and so I just like felt kind of like a high going in. Hello was when I realized that I could have kept my clothes and just paid like forty dollars because they're worth yeah, more than forty dollars. That, that's tough. I I would have just wished I never learned that. <sighs> yeah. Well, on the way back, my luggage was still overweight somehow, even without all this stuff. So I paid the. It was twenty dollars for me to pay because it was fifty two pounds. Well, I'm sure you know that I wasn't able to lift my. Yeah suitcase in the overhead bin and yeah. then almost dropped it on a little girl and her father had to jump and save her life from from his aisle seat unbuckle it was horrible so yay oh my god love it um but I'll, I'll continue to bring i'll continue to bring my carry on yeah you have what choice you have your tubes are tied mm-hmm. but i uh had my helmet for my ski helmet strapped to the back of my backpack so i didn't have to like physically hold it <laughs> i'm walking through the aisle and it's kunk, kunk. Com- oh, that's hit, so annoying. Like 15 people before the guy behind me was like, hey, your helmet's hitting everybody. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. What do you think about people with neck pillows? They don't work. Why do we keep pretending like neck pillows work? I, ha- I have one like on my backpack and I like give myself the biggest ick when I use it. I'm like, this is so embarrassing. I think they work. I think one of the biggest, oh, not for me. When I'm on the window, when I'm in the window seat and I'm like laying... Oh, well, that could just be a pillow. Yeah, but it's just like more, it's easier to carry that around because you can strap it to your backpack. Well, I always bring like a big fluffy hoodie in my suitcase Mm -hmm. or in my backpack and then I put it against the window. So, and then that's like the same thing for me. But any neck pillows that are pushing my neck out, I'm a big faller forward. Mm. So in my head, like. Put your neck pillow on backwards. I've tried everything. I promise you. Like I'm, I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna buy that thing. You blow up when you get to your thing, and then you put it on the tray table in front of you, and you put your arms like this. Oh, I sleep on the tray table. Do you? Is that yeah. a no? No. Oh, I can't. Like I'm a little bit. I do too, it in the windows. Listen seat. to this. I put my. This is why I don't do it anymore. I put my head down, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I I'm do like, that. Perfect. But you know, when the when I, when it's like economy, straight up economy, like it's actually too close for my back to bend oh, down. Oh, I'm. You're petite. Completely. You could sit on the tray table crisscross applesauce. You're so tiny. Uh But I put my head down, bro. (laughs) Okay. Picture this. I put my head down and I fall asleep. And then all of a sudden. They recline. 
they recline and my head is trapped oh my God. in between that tray table and thing. And I was like this. Oh, like I'm like in a headlock. Oh. Like this. And I couldn't get out. So I, I have P- it's PTSD. I always I look around anymore. and I'm like, why do not more people do this? Because it seems like the easiest way to sleep is just like to put your head in your tray table. But I guess it's because not everyone can physiologically. Yeah. Physically, etc. Yeah. No, it's hard. And then also my arms fall asleep when I have them up here. Because mm. I think that's probably like early stroke warning that my arms keep falling asleep. I was thinking me too, cause, but twitching. My twitches are so bad. When you're like, when I'm, falls asleep. yeah, me too. But like, it's like, I can't sleep because I'm just, they just keep waking me up. I'm like that woman on the plane in uh, Bridesmaids. It's like, there's a woman on the wing, but I'll have it like in my sleep. I'll be like, we're falling. We're falling. Like oh, yeah. every time right before I fall asleep, I need to be taped to the seat. I've been not a good, like I used to like flying, but I've been so scared recently. Well, because a plane shouldn't be in the air. I I've agree. always said that. It's yeah. made out of metal. How, like, I literally have to make myself fall asleep for the entire flight or else I start thinking about it. What, I'm just up in the air in this metal tube? But do you ever, like, Fuck look you. around the plane That's and you're insane. like, why did I do this? Yeah. I'm like, I should have rented a car from Hertz and driven from Colorado to California. Okay, well, I'd actually rather die, I think. But have you ever just, like, look around the plane? And you're like, okay, that person like seems like a good person. Nothing bad would happen to them. So therefore I'm safe. I have to go through logistics of the entire thing of like, no, no, Brooke. Because I, I see that good person and I see their Facebook wall blowing up with me, for their friends being like, oh my God, may you rest. You're the best person ever. Yeah. Like, that's what I see. Oh, I'm, I see I'm like seeing... nothing would happen to them because they, they need to stay on this, on this earth. I just think about, like, I want the numbers in front of me. I'm like, how many flights are going out today? So my probability is low. Yeah. But of course, at TSA security at the Aspen airport, it was like a timeline at security to the right of the conveyor belt. There was a timeline of like all of the horrible things TSA has stopped. 80 hijacking attempts in 1992. I'm like, put that number away. Don't tell me that you, st- like, how many, you stopped 80? How many were there? You know what someone told me recently, Connor? is the number that I'm thinking of. Listen to this. There are... 12. Knives in the restaurants in the terminal. Oh, Brooke. Oh, no. Like, what? Oh, no. Yeah. No, you know what I used to think about? Oh, God. Remember when they first banned liquids at the airport? Uh Uh-huh. And I saw a man with a water bottle. I go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going down. He bought it like after security. Yeah. But like, I was like, oh my God, I'm shaking. Like, see something, say something. Like, should I step <laughs> in? Yeah. I'm just like really freaked out that like, why aren't we going through like maybe like another detector as we get on the plane? Mm. Get this. I had the weirdest flight I did from Vegas to um, Florida. I had a layover. And so it was yeah. uh, North Carolina to Florida. And getting on that plane I had to go through TSA at the gate, too. Oh. How weird is that? That's Like, I had to show weird. my ID and everything. I've had a couple flights like that, but just at smaller airports. Yeah, this this plane, get this. And this is not an insult to flight attendants at all. There are people of every single job in the world that are assholes. Yeah, period. So this person was just an asshole. Not all flight attendants are assholes at all. So... On that plane, there were about six people on the plane. Okay. It's like kind of a small plane. Didn't like it looked, it was a different orientation than other planes yeah. I've seen. Um, about six people on the plane. The only row that had two people in it was the row that I was in. Everyone else had their own row. And the gentleman next to me eating Doritos with Dorito dust covering his whole body um, decided to actually stay in the middle seat next to me instead of at least going to the aisle. Stayed in the middle seat next to me. Okay, empty rows everywhere you can look, an empty aisle seat next to him, stayed in the middle seat next to me, covered in Dorito dust, okay? The second the plane like is in the air, I move yeah. from my window seat to the row in front of me that no one is in. It's an hour flight, I'm in there the whole time. As we are descending, as the pilot says, flight attendants like, take your seats, a flight attendant who has seen me 18 times comes up to me and says, you actually can't sit in this row unless you pay for it. Excuse me? Whoa. What? First of all, you could have said that. It would have been an asshole thing to say that to me. 
when I first started sitting there because every single row in this yeah. plane is open, but okay, sure, do your job if you need to. Um, but like as we're landing, there are six minutes left of the flight and also it is dangerous for me to get up? That's what? Weird. Yeah, time and a place. Yeah, so that's that sat with me. And so I had to go back to the Dorito desk. She was still sitting in the middle seat. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say sometimes like I've done that before and moved to like the the row that's like intentionally blocked off for the flight attendants if there's an emergency, and everybody was already seating and it was like a bigger plane uh -huh. and it, I was like that ant with a knapsack like moving back to my seat. I was like, okay, I understand. Like the, this, there was nothing Walk special about shame. this row. She said it was the exit row. It wasn't. Oh, I mean, not that I could see. There was no exit. Oh well, if you couldn't have seen the exit, that's a that's a larger problem. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I, I want to do before we can't or before we finish. I want to do our, oh, our yeah. ins and outs. Yeah, for twenty twenty four. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, ins and outs for twenty twenty four. I have a bunch, and I want to like preface that these are personal because I don't speak for everybody. So in in for twenty twenty four, not speaking for everybody. In for twenty twenty four, not speaking for everybody. What I say. You don't have to relate. To yeah. Okay. That's true. Perfect. Like I'm allergic to blank. Doesn't matter. Avoid it. Yeah. I'm having some peanut butter later. I have later. one in and out in men with wings out men without wings. Oh yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's it. Um. Okay. In. Completing a task. Finish it. That's for me. Good. I want to complete a task. Good. I want to complete every task. That's good. Out. Asking for a favor. Oh, I don't think that should be out. Personal. You should never be afraid to ask for help. Personal. <laughs> okay. You should ask for someone to lift your bag into the overhead bin. Yeah. Not speaking for you. In, tap water. Yeah. Okay. Out, mounting your TV. Oh, why? Personal. I'm just kind of into credenza <laughs> lately. This is personal, yeah. But you could put so many things on top of the credenza while your TV's hanging. Too cluttered? I just, to be honest, this is a personal thing because I can't find, because in my new place, I have one of those huge, like, dings coming out of the wall. And I don't even know what it's purpose Say more is. more about is the like huge thing coming out of the wall? I don't know if it's like a heater or what. But it's just coming, it's protruding, so there's not a good space on my wall. So I'm just gonna, I'm flipping this thing on its head. I'm gonna put my couch against that wall, and then I'm gonna put my TV, like, in the middle of the room on a credenza. In the middle of the room? In the middle of my living room. You haven't been to my place, right? Mm -mm. Okay. In the middle of the living room. There's room. What Whatever. Do you mean in the middle, like in the middle? Y like in yeah. the like like and there's space around it and you can just walk all around it? Yeah. You're confusing me. Well, I'll I'll get a I'll get a visual for you when we get off. Okay. Um and running into someone and then just being like, "All right, we'll see you later." Instead of being like, "We should do something." Yeah. In fountains. When were they out? I feel like we just kind of lost touch with fountains. Would love to see more fountains. Appreciating fountain, fountain appreciation. Hand in hand, making a wish is out. You should just not ask anything of the fountain. Just let it be. Making wishes is out only fountain related? Yeah, or you can make a wish upon a star. Eyelash? Oh, in. Candles? What? Birthday candles? Oh. Out. Because that's not fun. Everyone at the party wants to know what you wish for. You know? 11 11? <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> okay. Let's leave that one up to the gods. In vanity plates. Mm -mm. Because I may not be able to read a book while I'm driving, but I could actually play that puzzle where you try to figure out what that vanity plate says. That's always fun. Mm -hmm. Provide a little wordle for people on the go. Um, out. Phone on the table during a meal. Yeah, that's a good out. Yeah. Put it like in your crotch area or if you're if you're someone that with a purse, put it in your purse. Out. Oh, I'm out of outs. Okay. In learning how to defrost my windshield. That's good. Still I don't I'd get like it. to learn that too. I would like to just learn in general like what all the buttons in my car. Why do. does my air and heat have to go off if I'm defrosting? Because it's not off, it's just on your windshield, I think. And yeah, I want it on my body and the windshield. You can do both. You can only do feet and windshield. Ooh, I can. I can. I can. No, I, you can't. I can do face and windshield. 
In fact, I did it this morning. So you know how to defrost your windshield? No, I know how to keep the air on my face while my defroster's on. It's probably my car exploding. (laughs) Just like a car alarm going off. Uh, Questionable. Because I can see these going either way for people. I'm not calling the shot here. Photo dumps. Oh, I love those. I love them too. But I could just see people being like, I'm going back to posting one photo. Two. Oh, here's one I have a question about. Fixing up an apartment that you're renting. What do you think? Because there's this girl on TikTok that's putting like a ton of money in like replacing windows and stuff in this apartment that she's renting. And here's my two sides. One, you're just sinking money and you're not going to get that money back. Two, why not really fix up the place? Because you're living in it and every moment is special and matters. And you should really like where you live. I'm the biggest proponent of that via sludge feature (laughs) coming out of her sink. Yeah, I could see both. I... Yeah, I could see both. <laughs> like when my when my landlord was like trying to convince me to get my place, she's like, "You could get like if you really want an in unit washer dryer, like they sell like many ones, and you could like get that and put it in, you know, on the other side of the house and just run it through your sink." And I was like, "I don't want to do that because it's almost the same thing as me going fifteen feet mm-hmm. and paying for the the four dollars for." total that I have to pay every time I wash and dry. I've been doing laundry service that I'm addicted to and I won't be able to stop unfortunately. Did it once and just because I had had my laundry build up too much that it became impossible for yeah. for human or non-human or fairy to do um, and then I just got addicted unfortunately. Yeah I like the worst part about the I just like can't even speak to someone that has an in-unit washer dryer we're just like not on the same plane. Mm. I'm like, oh, well, you don't have an in-unit washer. You have an in-unit washer dryer? You don't <laughs> okay. know how to ship. King of England. Mm-hmm. Circle back. You don't understand, like, what I'm doing day to day. What's hard is I had one in Philly. I haven't had in one. My apartment. I haven't had one since college, since I lived in, like, a house with, like, nine people. You know, like, mm-hmm. we just had to have one. But um, I have the out-of-unit one, and it's a walk. And I know you know this, but, like, the worst part about that is, like, when you drop a sock or, like, a white T-shirt and you're, in like, outside, it's like... I'll always like be bringing because I have to walk up steps to bring my laundry back upstairs when I used to do it. And I would always like come back out like three hours later and like 15 pairs of my underwear would be strewn on about. the steps. You're like a Hansel yeah. and Gretel leaving gre- breadcrumbs yeah. to your apartment. Yeah. Yeah. So that is uh, that's something I'm dealing with. And it was funny because I'd never I've had out of unit washer dryer, but like I've never p- had to pay for it on account of paying so much money in rent. Right. So why would I pay additional for the facility and so i was like i don't even know where to find a coin you do coins coins oh mine's an app oh my god no i have to go get coins and i'm a texted cat wellington because i know that she gets coins and i go where do i get a a coin where do i get a bunch of quarters because i went to the gas station and i was like can i get a piece of gum or a pack of gum <laughs> and i'm gonna pay with this 20 then can you give me the the change in quarters and he was like no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, what do I do? I think do? you might have to go to the bank. What do I do? And the gas station it goes, guy goes, go to the bank. I'm yeah. Like, I got to go to the bank to do laundry? I think so. It's like I'm doing like a side quest every time I like need a Just stand-up. get a lot. Get a massive jar. I need a piggy bank. Get a jug. I'm an adult with both. Oh my god, I would in piggy banks. Oh, in his piggy banks. Yeah. 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 Um Ooh, did you have one when you were little? Yeah, my own's a frog. Oh, that's darling. What sucked is I dropped it when we moved one time, and so his hand broke off, so all the coins kind of start slipping out of his forearm. Mm. I wanna also say that I had a piggy bank that was a frog, but it might just be because you said that. Okay. But I might have. Self awareness is in. But I might have. Um wait, do you have the do's and don'ts too? No. Okay. Wait, I just have some that I'm going to Mine is just, my one thing is just go on walks and quit the gym. Which might be reverse, like going backwards. Okay. But like, I think that going on walks, as TikTok has told me, I will hear what I want to hear. Yeah. Because like, there's one side of TikTok that's like going on walks. It's just like the best form of exercise. And there's another that's like, you need to be like lifting weights and doing three, nine, 30, 12, 30, 30, whatever. And I'm just like, that person just said I can just walk, so that's who I'm actually believing. Yeah, you can actually align with whatever yeah, you so want Yeah, so that's what to. I'm aligning with. I might quit the gym. I mean, there's th- that family that I only... I only walked there anyway. 
there's that family that only eats butter and i'm like they seem so happy yeah like maybe i sh- i'm not gonna like write i'm not gonna like rule it out mm-hmm. you know i'm not a doctor never mm-hmm. claimed to be mm-hmm. need to go back to the doctor um i'm gonna unsubscribe from the spam emails that i get every single day oh. like the things that i signed up for a 10 percent discount that email me every single day i'm gonna sit down one day when i have nine hours to spare and i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna say stop to every one of them that's bold i would just make a new email that's what I've been doing. Yeah. But like then people with my old email are, are like, I emailed you six times. I'm like, oh, well, I've switched. You should have kept right. up with the times. Right. Um, I want to wash my face mm. with like a face wash. Okay. I, I use Dr. Bronner's or the tea tree stuff. From that's Trader fine. Jones. Yeah, I guess. Isn't that a 19 in one? Dr. Bronner's? Yeah. You can like wash your floor with. Yeah. So I'm like, if it's good enough for my floor, it's good enough for my exactly. noggin. Exactly. Um, Wearing white after Labor Day. I just had a question about that. What is that? I think what that's, is that? Oh, we're over. That's over. When is after? Isn't ev- isn't it every day after Labor Day? I think it's from Memorial Day to Labor Day that you can. Oh, rubbish. No. I think, but I think like people don't adhere to that anymore because it's stupid. Do you want to make any predictions about Gypsy Rose now that she's free out of out of the clink? Uh, out of the clink. <laughs> She is just so like I so sweet. Like every time I listen to her and watch her, I'm just like, oh my god! Like she's she needs to be protected. I'm I worry about her because she wrote she has no risen to fame. Do you think she's gonna go full influencer mode so quickly that like I don't wish this upon her, but like I could see her life imploding because her husband's now like on the cutting block because people are like dogging on him, and she came out and was like. Ryan, don't listen to the haters. Also, the D is fire. I was like, when did she say okay. that? That was yesterday. On what? Uh, I think an Instagram oh. caption or something. I do have to go look at that right oh, now. I'll send you it. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it saved. So Gypsy Rose saying that her husband Ryan's D is fire wasn't like something I was ready to hear. Right. But here you go, Brooke. I'll send it to you. Is right it a now. video? It's on. I send it to you on Twitter. Yeah, I, I kind of anticipate her blowing up and then like something's going to happen where it's like... Oh, she commented on his post, Ryan, don't listen to the haters. I love you and you love me. We do not know any want anything. Our family is what matters. If you get likes and good comments, great. If you get hate, then whatever, because they don't matter. I love you. Besides, they jealous because you are rocking my world every night. Yeah, I said it. The D is fire. Happy wife, happy life on God. Like she didn't sell I want to believe that this is something that's... Genuine? Genuine. I, I mean, the thing is, we just don't know. So it's like. It's really funny that everyone's like, oh, well, we forget that she's she. She's clearly happy. Yeah. She's stoked. She's out of jail. Yeah. I'm happy for that. I love her. It is like so often we forget that she didn't murder her mom. Like we, we are forgetting that. She didn't. Her. Well, yeah, I guess. But like, this is kind of perpetuating that thing where it's like, oh, the serial killers that want to be famous. No, she's not a serial killer. No, I'm saying it's like a tough look. Like we are like I mean, it is like a little morally gray, but when you really think about it, like she was like Oh, I know. No, I'm I'm like I'm torture. Team Gypsy for sure. Yeah. Like that woman was evil. Yeah. But and then every worried. single member of her family was like good. I'm I'm glad. Oh my gosh. Imagine because that woman was so evil. Imagine being the person in your family that was like, Okay, if we had to kill one person here, like at Thanksgiving, who would it be? And everyone like unanimously mm-hmm. votes you. Oh, we're kidding. We're kidding. Yeah, that would suck. But we're in joking. this case, like, yeah. Yeah. Her tubes were tied. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I guess that's just like a classic watch this space situation. I'm, I wish her I'm looking forward all to the best as well as her husband, Ryan. I do wish her the best. And I'm so happy that Ryan is rocking Gypsy's world every night. Yeah. Fire his, emoji. With his fire D. Yeah. Fire emoji. Go off, y'all. All right. Should we head to the bonus? Wait, go on up, you bald head. <laughs> Rocking her world. Youths. 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 Um, yeah, let's go to the bonus. All let's right. do the first bonus of 2024. Let's rock their world with our let's fire rock, Ds, Let's bro. rock the world with our bonus episode fire emoji D. D. Okay. You already know what it is, baby. Bye, you Bye. guys. Happy New Year. This week on Close Friends. 
Talk Are you it. learning all this from Drunk History? Yes, it's <laughs> awesome, bro. It's so fun because it's like dumbed down, but like that's what I needed. Greek mythology would have been fun. You would have loved it. Yeah. Because of the men with wings. Yeah. Pretend you're Andrew Garfield watching your ex-girlfriend's movie premiere. Okay, I'll try to channel yeah. that. Yeah, and someone kissed me that like caught me a little off guard. Like I got nervous and then I said happy birthday. I had a similar experience. Tell me. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.